I wasn't sure what I was doing in uh, when that oath was presented. It was presented to me as something which might add a little bit of pressure, um, possibly within the media, give a bit of attention to what was uh, what these four barons had already signed. Uh, I thought there was no harm in that. I was uh, supportive of the whole idea and supportive of the um, uh, of the idea of the. Uh, separation of, of Britain from, from uh, concentrated power in another country and I am greatly enamoured of the uh, Magna Carta and the Charter of Liberties that came before it and I think we must hold on to our ancient liberties. But I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a historian and I didn't have a view then and I don't have a view now about what might be a useful way forward. But you're receiving Lots of Article 61 oaths, aren't you? At the Maybe moment? as a result of giving my support at that time, um, I'm receiving lots of uh, oaths from people. I haven't kept count it's over several years, probably tens of thousands by now. Wow. Um, and they mostly come to my home, which is in the Hebrides. And the reason they come there and they've been rejected by other barons is that my home is over the water. And the post office over the water does what is necessary to receive mail. So it's not me that's signing for them. When I go home, I find a pile of letters on the kitchen table uh, which have this um, big yellow badge saying they have to be signed for, and I don't know who signed for them, somebody who wandered into the shop at the time the mailboat came in, probably. Um, so I can't say that I'm receiving them personally. Um, I don't mind them coming, but I have to say that what upsets me slightly is a lot of these letters have personal testimonies within them and I can't possibly open them all. I okay. sometimes open them, I've, I've answered one or two at random, but uh, I can't open them all. And these are, these are good stories of people who uh, feel that they're not being heard and they want to be heard and I'm not the person to hear them because I'm getting thousands of these things. I can't So I, as I them. understand it then, we should hold on to our own Article 61 oaths and not send them to you anymore. Well, Caroline, if you can come up with a, a way of getting these Article 61 oaths, and also from people who've already sent them yep. to me, because I haven't kept them all, uh, and gather them into one place, yes. it would be much more useful than them sitting on my kitchen table until, until they get disposed of. If you can gather those names into one place, you'll have a body of... Uh, uh, an army. An army. You'll have an army. Um, have you got anything to say to the people? Well, I'm probably not the person to give advice on the Magna Carta, on Article 61. I only knew about Article 61 when it was flagged to me in the House of Lords. I didn't do it any research at the time. I trusted the people who were putting it to me. Yeah. I gave them my support. Um, if there's anything I can do, uh, I will. But I'm not sure what I'm being given uh, some useful role here. Well, we'll be back in touch with you anyway, and thank you very much for the interview. Okay. Thank you, Caroline.